Hi everybody. Today we are going over the Thanksgiving planner. This is going to be a flip through and a plan with me. Lots to do today, so let's get started. Welcome, welcome to this video. I am so excited that you are here today. Today we are talking about the Thanksgiving planner. So the Thanksgiving planner started because um, I wanted a better system for planning my Thanksgiving holidays for my family. And um, at first I started looking for an app. I was hoping to find an app that I could um, just keep the data in there and then year after year just kind of copy and paste or move it forward or something like that. And I never really found what I was looking for. I wanted something strictly dedicated to Thanksgiving and I would find cooking, but um, nothing that was like a complete, all of the things that you do to get ready for Thanksgiving. And so um, I stumbled onto printables along the way and they looked like a ton of fun. And I thought, well, this would be a good compromise. At least I would have an outline year after year that I could follow and um, that has been really great and um, I'm so happy that I created this planner and I hope you enjoy um, this video. Okay so one more thing that I want to mention before we get started is that um, last year I was going to release the Thanksgiving planner as my first video and then the Christmas planner as my second video and um, I after I got them put together I got them as far as putting them up on YouTube and then when I watched them one last time I thought I can't do this this is not I can't release something out of sentiment I need to release it because I know it's a good video and I was like this is not a good first video for me and so I decided to wait which I am glad now that I did, even though it's not even as bad as I had remembered it. It's actually not too bad, but I waited and a few months later, I ended up releasing the game plan as my first video. And so what I'm doing here is I went back through that video from 2018 and I'm kind of cleaned it up and hopefully it's a little bit better and a little bit more clear and a little less choppy. Um, hopefully um, it's a better product than what I um, was originally going to release. And um, so anyway, but all the footage, everything you're seeing, all the video that was taken, all was done in 2018 and all the planning as well. So let's do a quick flip through of the Thanksgiving planner and then I will show you how I use it to plan our Thanksgiving. Um, the Thanksgiving planner is a digital download printable planner. It is designed for double sided printing and um, basically when you receive the file um, then you have to print it out and trim it and hole punch it to fit into your planner. It has been designed for A5 and half letter um, planners. This first page here is the monthly calendar for November and um, it is undated so that you can um, use it year after year. And um, on one side is the calendar and then on the other side is a cover page and a notes page. The page on the right side is just a simple to-do checklist style page. So now here we have the cleaning plan and the decorating plan. And um, when you um, open the file and you go to print it, if you have access to duplex printing and you print this file, duplex printing, then it will print out in this order that you're seeing here. These next two pages, the first one is the Thanksgiving week and then the one next to it is the Thanksgiving menu. Here we have food prep and remove from freezer. On this page we have the Thanksgiving timeline and cleanup. 
There are two timelines included with the Thanksgiving planner. The first one is where I kind of brainstorm out the um, timeline and kind of get an idea of what all the things are that we are going to do on that day. And this next one here is meant to be um, like posted like somewhere in your kitchen that you can so that you can follow along um, on that day and just kind of have a guide of what should be happening when. If you don't feel comfortable posting it on your cabinet or inside a cabinet or anywhere in your kitchen, then you can hole punch it and just stick it inside your planner or just fold it and leave it loose inside there. But the idea is that you have something to help guide you through the day. These next two pages are a notes page and a grocery list. And then I have also included of uh, some extra notes pages that you can print out as well. I also want to point out that I have a guest list here and um, I put the guest list separate because at our house we don't really have guests on Thanksgiving. It's just our immediate family. I wanted to make the guest list easy to access for those who needed it and easy to cut out for those who did not. I have included two types of notes pages because I know some people like to jot down memories and uh, include them with their Thanksgiving planning pages. And um, I just thought it would be nice to have just like a blank slate where it doesn't say notes and it doesn't say Thanksgiving. It doesn't really say anything. It just is um, lines that you can work with. And um, so that's why there are two different types of note pages included in um, this planner. Okay, so that is it for the flip through. Now let me share with you how I um, use this planner to plan out our 2018 Thanksgiving. Okay, so on the calendar, you can see that I've written in the events and marked off Thanksgiving break with some washi. And I um, marked um, Thanksgiving day with a glitter pen that's the yellow box on there and then i've also um added my cooking days because i want to pay attention to the days that i will be able to get some cooking done with the to-do list i write down pretty much anything that i need to kind of remember um here i've written down basketball because i want to make sure to not accidentally over schedule something on top of that. And I've written in um, cleaning out the uh, free freezer and refrigerator and pantry because I really wanna make sure that I get that done. Pretty much everything else is kind of within the planner somewhere. And so this is just kind of miscellaneous things that I really wanna pay attention to. Okay, so the cleaning plan is probably one of my favorite pages to use. Um, I have it in the Thanksgiving planner and the Christmas planner. And then I also have a fall cleaning plan. That's just an independent on its own printable, um, design for cleaning during the fall. And, um, I like to just, uh, treat this particular, the Thanksgiving one and the Christmas one as well as just like, um, I'm just doing basic cleaning, you know, paying attention to, you know, the public areas, even though we aren't going to have, um, guests, I still like to get, you know, the living room cleaned up, vacuumed and dusted and, you know, wiped down mirrors and windows and things like that. And, um, I save all the decluttering. I either get it done in the fall or I save it till after Christmas. And, um, that works out really good for us. And, um, uh, let's see. Oh, there goes the cats. <laughs> okay. The cats like to do little flybys when I'm um, videoing and when I'm filming and when I'm taking pictures. They they have they always do it every single time. And um, anyway, um, so um, so that's how I use it. I just kind of write down the rooms that I want to work on. So this is Rosie who just walked by a minute ago, and I promise this is our last cat interruption. I just thought this one was really funny. With the decorating plan, I have tried to keep it 
pretty flexible. I have on here the vision, what I need, and to do. And um, I myself just look back at my fall planner and I take those notes and I just transfer whatever I wrote there into here and then I just kind of expand on it and um, just um, add whatever else I would like to do for Thanksgiving. I pretty much do the same thing every year. I start out in the fall and I just kind of give myself like a base layer of pumpkins, candles, lights, just whatever it is, the basic stuff that I want to do. And then I will just pull in the Halloween stuff over the top of that. And then I, when I pull that out, then I pull in things that say happy Thanksgiving and leaves and just try to make it, um, not too much work for myself and make it so that, um, it looks fresh from fall to Halloween to Thanksgiving. And so that's pretty much what I do. And, um, each year, and I still write it out, even though I'm doing basically the same thing. Um, some years, uh, Hobby Lobby might catch my attention. And so I'll jot that in and other years it might be target that I've saw something was there and I want to go get it and, um, to add to our collection. And so anyway, that's pretty much how I do it. I just kind of, um, write it all down here and, um, and then try and make it happen. Okay, so here we have the Thanksgiving week page. And um, I said earlier that the cleaning plan is one of my favorites. This is another one of my favorites. This page is in um, Thanksgiving, as you can see, Christmas and Halloween. And um, I, just, uh, I just love how um, I'm able to have my activities or plans and um, my meals together on the same page. As I'm planning, I don't worry about getting tons of details here. Um, I can do that later, either in my planner or on another page or something. Like for instance, in a minute here, I'm going to just write Thanksgiving, I think I write Thanksgiving dinner, and then I draw an arrow. And, um, there's really no need for me to write every single piece of the Thanksgiving dinner because, because on the next page, I'm going to be writing all of that out and it's right there in front of me. But, um, I like to start by just filling in all of the activities that I know that we were, are going to do and then, uh, filling in what meals make sense with, the activities for each day. And, um, I usually fill this out about a week or two weeks before Thanksgiving. Um, we do basically the same thing each year. I just need to confirm with my family. There's a couple activities that sometimes we do and sometimes we don't. And then I also need to check in with my husband and see, um, you know, if he's going to be off. Okay. So this is the Thanksgiving menu and I'm going to jot down all of the things that I think that my family would like to have on Thanksgiving. And then over the weekend, I will go over this plan with them and um, get their opinions. This is another one of those pages where we almost repeat the same things every year and I could almost just create a master list or plan and that's typed up and just use the same one each year. But I kind of like the, um, you know, writing it out and thinking about, um, you know, how I can make it a little different than the year before. And, um, I just kind of like the process of it. This space that I'm writing in here is, um, the beverage plan. And, um, I just feel like um, most menus don't really include a space specifically for beverages. And I feel like um, that's a very important part of the Thanksgiving, not just day, but the entire weekend. Okay, so the food prep page is obviously where you would um, jot down any of the items that you want to make up ahead of time. 
like a pie crust or if you want to chop up some veggies for stuffing or sometimes I like to tear up the bread and get it all torn up and throw it in the freezer so it's ready to go and um, just all kinds of you know any anything that you need to do to help um, prepare yourself for Thanksgiving and then once you get your list made you can go back and schedule it and write in the date of when you would like to make that item and then um, you can uh, check off if you want to put it in the freezer and then you can also check off when it's done okay so as you can see here I am finishing up um, this list and in a second here I'm gonna go back and write in dates of when I think I can make these items and just kind of grouping them together in a way that makes sense to me and um, earlier I had written cooking day on um, my calendar so I would know days here see here I flip back to it and so I so I would know that the days that I would be available to you know chop this or cook that or whatever it was that I'm planning on doing and then um, and then I'm just writing them in here and I'm trying to make it so that it's not that I'm not scheduling too much for myself and but I still have you know plenty of time to get things done and um, all of that so um, it's a pretty handy this list is really handy it's really helpful I have loved having it over the years and um, the more I use it the more I love it okay so when I'm done writing in the dates I will go back through the list and I will check off anything that needs to be put into the freezer and then this will help set me up for the next page okay so the from the freezer page has two functions one is for you to jot down anything you make during the food prep time like if you made that pie crust then you would maybe write down on the from freezer pie crust and then when you need to mo remove that so you can prepare the pie and then um um and then if you have well like with the turkey you can jot that down there as well um and you know when you want to remove that from the freezer and it, it's good for like anything um breads you know just any anything that you need to remove from the freezer um, so that it is ready to go for your Thanksgiving meal. You can see here that I'm using the same method that I used with the food prep page where I'm writing all the items down and then I go back in and write the dates of when I need to remove things from the freezer. And then, not in this video, but um, if, when I did this I um, and I was doing my planning, Typically on Thursdays, I would just go back and look at this page and then schedule those items on my planner or just look at my planner and try and get those done that week. And um... Okay, so that's about it for these two pages. Um, they really are um, helpful pages. They just really um, get me through all of the um, cooking tasks that I need to do and keep me on track. And I really love that. Okay, um, now what I'm doing here is I'm adding the initials of my family members, whoever was um, planning on helping me with certain dishes. I'm putting their initials next to them so I um, don't forget that part. Okay, so now we are going to talk about the Thanksgiving Day timeline. When I do this for our Thanksgiving, I just jot down whatever comes to my mind and I don't worry about keeping it in the right order. And then when I put it on the vertical page, then that's when I put everything in place the way that it needs to go. My intention with these two um, pages is that the horizontal timeline that it would remain in your planner and you can just leave it there. You can carry it with you and work on it um, whenever that you need to or re refer back to it. And then with the vertical one, that one, uh, my intention is that it can be posted somewhere 
um, in your kitchen, hung up on your cabinet, inside a cabinet, laying on the counter next to you, and that you can just refer to it throughout the day. When I use this timeline on Thanksgiving Day, I literally take a Sharpie and I just draw a diagonal line across um, each little box um, so that I can clearly see um, what we have done and what is still left to do. So most of my pages, I am really confident that they're going to work and, and for the most part, you're probably going to be happy with them. But this vertical style timeline, I am not the most confident in. I, I try to make it, um, um, the layout and the format wasn't too terribly distracting and there wasn't too much on the page. Even as I look at it, I think, gosh, I feel like I could improve it. And so if you have any opinions about this page, please let me know because I just, I don't feel it's quite where it needs to be. If you purchase this planner from my shop, um, you'll probably notice when you go to download the files that this page is in a separate file all by itself. Okay, so now both timelines are ready to use and I'm going to set this vertical one aside and I don't really like to um, bend it if I, if I can help it, so I usually just tuck it in with my cookbooks um, so that I can have it ready for Thanksgiving Day. And then I just um, take a little piece of washi and tape it to my cabinet and I just have it right there in front of me. I also will tape up um, like the menu, sometimes the food prep and the freezer. And then as I complete them, I just kind of pull them down. But um, it looks a little wild, but it's just me and Tim and the girls. So nobody um, at our house minds me doing that. Okay, so now I'm jotting down just a few activity options on this notes page here. And um, the first thing I write down is walk. And that is not me. That is Tim. He always wants to go for a walk on Thanksgiving Day. And I'm like, we all kind of, we groan a little bit. But inwardly, we really are groaning. Nobody wants to do it. But we do. And it's it ends up being very nice and a great thing to do after we've eaten such a big meal. But that's all him. I'm the board games. I want to play board games and hang out and eat more. <laughs> so that's it for these pages. The timelines are filled out and our activities for that day are written down. And um, that's what we'll be doing on Thanksgiving Day. Okay, so the cleanup page is um, meant to guide you through cleanup like while your guests are still there, anything that you can get done while they're there. And then the rest of it after they leave, just to help you get through it quickly. And um, you may notice that at the bottom of this, I have um, written in a reward for myself, which is go into Austin and just uh, have a day to get away from everything, which really translates to Christmas shopping in Austin. That's really what that's going to be. Okay, so here's the grocery list, and um, on here I have literally written down pretty much everything that I need to make Thanksgiving happen. I will write down everything. I've been doing this for a couple years. It's a huge pain, but um, I'll write down things that even if I think that I have it, I write it down anyways. Flour, sugar, salt, I probably have those things, but I write them down anyways, and I make myself go in and actually look at the item to see if we actually have enough of it for whatever recipe we're trying to make. Okay, so this particular grocery list I would never take into the store with me because it's like a master list. So what I would do is either use a notes page or print out another grocery list and use that. But in my situation, I use um, Walmart grocery pickup and so I just use the list to help me order my groceries that way. And then the only one thing I do is like I like to pick out the turkey myself. And so that I just have an app on my phone that I'll just, um, you know, type in turkey for that. And um, and so that's how I, how I do the groceries. Also, I like to break this list up into two or three trips and um, just kind of 
buy them throughout um, November and then um, I would just purchase like the turkey and maybe in any of the non-perishables first and then the closer I get to Thanksgiving obviously I would buy the fresher items okay so that is it that's the Thanksgiving planner and um, I hope you got something out of this video um, that was my longest video ever and um, I don't plan on doing that very much um, but I think the Thanksgiving planner is worth it. So I have two things at the end of this video for you. The first one is just a quick flip through of the Black Friday planner. And if you buy the Thanksgiving planner, then the Black Friday comes along with it. And I, I love this planner. I had a lot of fun putting it together and um, it's just a nice, simple, easy way to um, just kind of plan out Black Friday. And then after that, there is a little cat bloopers video. I had created it to go with the original um, Thanksgiving planner video. And um, so I decided to keep it as part of this one. And um, it's pretty cute. You know, it's Tinks and Rosie. That's our two cats. And if you watch this video all the way through and then skip things, then you probably saw them visiting their shadows and tails and stuff. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoy it and um, I want to wish you a very happy Thanksgiving. If you have any questions, come find me on Instagram, leave a comment below. Have a very happy Thanksgiving and don't forget to check out my Christmas planner video. Oh